So this one, if we keep the sign changes, this is alternating series. And one over N term is gets smaller and smaller. So by alternating series test, it's good day, but for this. Okay. So this is what we call conditionally convergent. And the nice thing about uh, about absolute conversion is this one here. Uh, because we know that the AN is somehow sandwiched between this absolute value and the negative absolute value. Okay. So if the, the absolute value converges, see? You know that this is bounded by converging things. So this must be bounded. So converges. Okay, so what it says is this one here. If uh, absolutely converges, then the series itself converges. So we know that absolutely converging, but absolutely convergent is stronger than convergent okay implies convergent okay so let's pick up some some more problems from the uh, from the new problem session sheet Alternating series, uh, right? Oh, so that's the alternating series. All right, so number four. Number four. Say problem. Uh, problem B. Problem B. This one. Okay. So you see, this is a alternating. Is things bigger? All right. As far as we can write this down, that's all right. So this is alternating series. I... 
Okay, this is out of thing series. And okay. Uh, so let's check the, the series here. This AM here is uh, so N power one third. This is LM of N. Okay, so you see, uh, this should be, uh, see, this is LN, this is the, uh, what you call polynomial type, okay, so we know from the hierarchy, remember that uh, log or logarithm or including the LN is the smallest one from the the uh, large large number okay so call log much smaller than polynomial much smaller than exponential and the largest would be uh, factorial okay so then this should be large because this is we comparing polynomial type with the log okay but you can check using the uh, this won't go to uh, won't go to zero okay so let's check the limit Let's check the limit. Um, limit. Okay, so we attempt to use a uh, L'Hopital. So we deal with derivative instead. So this is one third and to the two thirds negative right? and this is one over n and this equals to well this is n right and this is negative power so, and, all right so this is n to the power of one third positive power so this goes to Okay, and by L'Hopital, this is, uh, this goes to, well, this limit goes in this, not for sure it's not zero. Okay, so this one, uh, This one is divergent in this case. Okay. This is just keep larger and larger. Okay. So this is divergent. All right, so let's pick up another uh, problem. So C, for example, here.
um, here's a n is um, equals to all right so let's see this is polynomial topo polynomial over polynomial okay and this is a uh yes yeah, this is leading power one power two so this limit is zero okay and it's monotonically decreasing this <laughs> and the limit is zero okay so by other thing series test out series this one converges okay Oh, sorry. Yeah, this is alternating. Okay. However, if you put the absolute value, I just put here, then you get this one. Okay. Let's see, uh, power one, this is power two. Uh, so you can use the power one, power two. This looks like, uh, what you call a uh, one over n thing. So the, this intuition tells you that Two and over three n square. Okay, so limit comparison. This shows you that limit compare using use limit comparison. Uh, with what? With this one. This one we know this is divergent. Okay, because as p series, p equals one. Okay, so we check this one. So a n over b n. This is our a n. This is our b n. So a n over b n is just two to the n over three n square plus one over one over n times n. So two n square. The n squared plus one. Okay, so that goes to two thirds. Okay, so limit compression test tells you that both are converges or both are divergent. Bridges or both uh, divergent. Oh, because we know this is divergent, then this one this is divergent. You see, so we have the alternating part, the alternating version convergent, but the absolute. Uh, part divergent. So this is what we call conditional convergent. Conditionally convergent. Okay. So uh, this is a tool to even something that uh, you can use something um, something more complicated. 
for example, you have a, let's see, let's see. So this, the signs random between negative one and one. So you pick up a, say a, a coin, negative one, if had one, it's land on tail. So the, the signs is uh, determined by, uh, by randomly, okay? So this is times one over say, and Q, okay? So you might, uh, want to see how uh, does it converge or not? You cannot even write this down in in, in longer because you cannot write down what is this random. It's going to be one or negative one. So this is our a n. Okay. Uh, however, if you put absolute value. You put up to the value, then this just becomes Q, which is a P series with P equals three. So it converges. Okay, so the conclusion is that this series converges absolutely. Well, then it absolutely, when we know that's converged absolutely, then which implies uh, the series itself. This is converging. Okay. Questions? Okay. If not, then let's uh, proceed to what we call a power series. Um, let's see. A okay, five, oh, okay, we skip five, let's see. Okay. Okay, what we call power series is this, this things now. Uh, so this is Cn x to the n. Or start from zero usually. So what is this? They so usually C0 plus C1x. Uh, oh, right. Sorry. Let's make it slightly more general. It should give you C0, C1, X minus A, C2 square, power 3, plus, plus, plus. Okay. So always the question is what's convergent. Okay. But the thing here, this depends on X. Okay, so the question is convergent or degree. Well, it depends on X. Okay. 
For example, if you put x equals a, all right. So what we have here is that um, a here is that this gives you zero. Okay. So it, it just gives you constant. Okay. Everything else is zero. Okay. So this converges. Okay. But other things pretty much depend on the. Depend on the formula. Okay. Let's uh, put a name here. This is what we call a power series or power series expansion. This one here is called the center of the, the series. So A here is the, the center. So this is the wrong coefficient. All right. Uh, let me just give you an example. Example, uh, to the end. So that pretty much depend on uh, on x. Okay, for x equals zero, for example, when x equals zero, except uh, in a for just the power zero. Power zero, just one. This is no angles. So this converges. Okay. And what about x equals one, for example? If x equals one, what we have is this, this is always one. So the series. Uh, recall that the um, let's see. Recall this a, a ratio test. So this is our a n. So. A n plus one over A n is ratio test. So two to the n plus one over n plus one factorial over. Okay. So just multiply uh, multiplications. Okay. But it looks like two times uh, what is two over 
n plus one, right? Which goes to zero. Okay, this tells you that, well, um, this is, this converges to, uh, not two, this converges. So by ratio test, Can check with other x okay oh okay that's uh, one more thing if x equals negative one if x equals negative one so you would have something like this so this is a alternating series though. Alternating series, so you check um, this is two n n factorial. This goes to this is down to zero. Okay, so this is the series in figures. Okay. The series test. Okay, so the question is this other X, what happened? Okay, so this is a good question. So next question would be find all X that makes uh, this one okay let's uh, let's do this one All right, so let's uh, B, for example, X to the N over uh, over N cube. Find all x makes the series converges. Okay, so all x which makes the series convergent, this is called convergent set or convergent interval. All right, so let's uh, check this one. So what we use is always this one. So apply absolute ratio test. Okay, why we need the absolute ratio? Because even the, the sign, we don't know. Because if you put a negative X, then it would be, would be alternating. If X is positive, then it would be a positive series. So let's put absolute ratio test. Okay, what is absolute ratio test? Well, that's a ratio test with a, uh, 
but you put absolute value. Okay. There. Okay. So this is our AM. Okay, so let's check. Uh, this is the the nth plus one term would be over x to the n there. And then you have this, right? And the absolute value goes only to this one. Well, you have x power n plus one, this is x to the n. Okay, so uh, just, now you just have x. Okay, remember what the conclusion of ratio test. Ratio test, uh, compares the, the, the limit to the value one. Bigger than one converges. Smaller than one, sorry. Smaller than one converges. Bigger than one diverges. And equals one, no conclusions. Okay, so let's see. Here, so that's pretty much depend on X. So uh, to make it convergent, then this should be uh, the limit should be less than one. If you want to have divergent, is this going to be one? Okay, so just make it a uh, limit here. All right. We compute this limit. Well, what we limit is is n actually. Okay. So x doesn't uh, depend on x. So we, we take that out. Factor this out. So this is again one. So it just x. Okay. So from here we have uh, see that so to make it less than one. So limit is so say this is the case. This is convergent larger than one. Okay, so we have a few zero, just negative one, just one. All right, uh, what we have is this. Well, here we have convergence. So this is part of the uh, uh, convergence set. Okay, and they say that. The uh, absolute value bigger than one, this divergent. Okay, so what remain is this one here. Okay, so the question is what about? x equals so plus minus one let's check oh, one by one if x equals one what we have here this plug in one for x is always one this is one so this is a p series with p equals three so you have convergent. What about negative one? Well, that is, uh, it becomes 
uh, an alternating series. So this is alternating series that the one over n, so one over n cube, this is something that gets smaller and smaller, decreasing down to zero. So this also converges where other things series test. So now the convergence set is, so the conclusions is from one to one and including the negative one and one. Okay. Let's see, one more example of this. Uh, be more explicit. Okay, let's uh, check. Let's see. E, okay. Question is find the convergent set. Let's see. So this is what we call absolute ratio test. It's always the the test that we use. So this is a n plus one over a n with absolute value. Okay. This is n to the sorry n plus one x minus two n plus one over n. Yeah, it's just n plus one over n. This is just oh sorry, absolute value. Okay. Well, let's see. Uh, the limit for this the limit of which is one. Okay. Okay, so we uh, say this is going to be convergent if uh, this limit less than one. Okay, going to be divergent if bigger than one. All right, so this is what we have. This is the equation. Well, this is centered at two. Okay, centered at two, distance one to the left and to the right. So we have three, this is one. All right, so we have convergent here. 
and divergent outside of area. The question is this one here. So let's check those separately. For x equals three. So what you have here, this, uh, This becomes n. So three minus two, so just one to the n. Okay. For this, well, this is you adding something. This gets larger and larger. Okay, so this is divergent. Okay, because the, the limit of is it's not zero. So this is after divergence test. Uh, next for x equals one. So what you have here is, let's see if this is one, one, so negative one to the end. Okay. So again, this is, let's see. Uh, so this is a n. Yes, well, this, this n gets larger, just the negative just keep changing. So one minus two plus three uh, minus four in this, right? So this is, uh, no limit. Okay, again by n theorem, average test. Uh, this is the average. Okay, so convergence set is. It's actually just from one to three, this interval. Okay, questions? Okay, we'll do some more examples and do some special power series. Let's take a break for five minutes. <laughs> 